Hi guys, Dr. Kate Reynolds here from Union Lake Vet Hospital. As a pet owner myself, I can completely understand if it feels a little stressful when you find out your pet has to have surgery. So today we're going to go over some of the basics of post-surgical care and hopefully put your mind at ease. The environment your pet will inhabit after surgery can have a big impact on their recovery. Your pet may prefer a dark and quiet space to rest, so be sure to keep children and animals away from them until after they've recuperated. Of course, some pets just want to be with their family as they recover. You'll also want to limit their activity. This means cutting off access to slippery floors and staircases, and not allowing any running or roughhousing. It's best to follow your veterinarian's specific instructions regarding how soon your pet can eat or drink after surgery but it's usually okay to offer them water in small amounts every couple of hours. Most pets can be fed as soon as they're able to eat. Just be sure to start with small and bland meals since it's normal for pets to experience some nausea during the first 24 hours after surgery. The only time you should allow your pet to go outdoors is for potty breaks, and you'll want to keep them on a leash to prevent them from overexerting themselves. This is especially important, even if they're trained to stay with you off-leash. A rabbit or a squirrel may be too much of a temptation, causing them to run before they're ready. You may find that your pet needs to relieve themselves more often than usual. Because of the medications administered during surgery, your pet may also experience some constipation or diarrhea for a few days. It's quite common for dogs to want to lick or chew their incision site during their recovery, but it's crucial that you prevent them from doing so, since this can inhibit the healing process. So if you find that your dog is persistently licking or chewing, or if you're going to be leaving them unattended for any length of time, you'll want to place an Elizabethan collar on them. E-collars prevent your dog from reaching their incision site, but in most cases still allow them to eat and drink comfortably. One of the most overlooked aspects of post-surgical care is providing mental stimulation for your pet. With its activity restricted, your pet is bound to become a little bored. So be sure to give them lots of extra TLC. You can also keep their mind occupied with food puzzles, Kongs, and other interactive toys. You can even do gentle, positive reinforcement-based training with your dog. These little gestures can go a long way in keeping a pet's spirits up during this challenging time. You'll also want to keep a careful eye out for any signs of complications or unusual behaviors. These may include lethargy or acting punky after 24 hours, vomiting in any amount after leaving the veterinary hospital, loss of appetite after 24 hours, redness or swelling around the wound, bleeding or discharge from the wound, odor from the wound, or if the wound is hot or painful to the touch. If you observe any of these symptoms, you'll want to contact your veterinarian immediately. Please keep in mind that while these tips are recommended most of the time, every case is different. Make sure to consult your veterinarian before making any changes to their post-op plan. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best of luck and your pet the speediest of recoveries.